Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be showing you how can you zoom in and possibly also zoom out in a video in Wondershare Filmora. It could be any version, it could be Wondershare Filmora 9, could be the latest one X. This method will definitely work for that. Let's understand how to pull off this simple yet effective technique. Let's begin. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora. Now in order to get the zoom in effect, first of all, we need a video. So just pretty much select any video that you want to have. So I'll use this video and drop it onto the timeline. Once we have the video onto the timeline, next thing is we need to decide where we want to zoom in at which point. Now, let's say I want to start the zoom in effect from this part. So take your cursor there, then click on this cut option, make a cut and then drag your cursor onto that position where you want to end that zoom in effect. So let's say I want to end my zoom in effect at this point. So take your cursor over there and then click on this red option again. Once we have that video separated from the main video, then click on that, right click on the video and then click on this option, which is crop and zoom. Once you click on crop and zoom, another menu will appear up. Now here we need to select the second option, which is pan and zoom. Now, when you click on pan and zoom, as you can see these two wordings written here, start and end. Now, what that basically means is start as in this is how your normal video looks like. End means when you click on that, it will highlight that dialog box. It simply means this is where the video will end according to you. Now, let's say I want to end my video or let's say I want to zoom into my video at this particular mountain. So take your dialog box there. And then another thing you can do is you can resize it based on your requirements. Let's say I want to resize it like this at this point. Once you are happy with the results, click on the OK button. And now let's see how the video looks like. Now still we are not done yet. As you could see, it did work. But after that effect is over, after that video finishes, it reverts back to the normal video. Now I want to keep that zoom in effect for few more seconds. What we can do now is just take your cursor and put it where you want to stretch that zoom in effect. Make another cut. Now we need to go back to the previous video where we applied that zoom in effect. Click on the video again, go to crop and zoom menu. Now here, if you click on this end option, we need to memorize this particular ratio that has been written, which is 1012 by 570. Also, just roughly memorize where the location of this dialog box is because we want to keep that exactly similar. Even rough guess would be, even rough idea would be preferable. But remember this ratio, which is 1012 by 570. Go back to the second video, right click, click on crop and zoom. Now we just need to be on the first option, not the second one, the crop one. Here, click on ratio and just change it to custom and then change these values to the ones which were in the previous one. So 1012 by 570. Once you're happy with that, again, take that dialog box and just put it where it originally was in the previous video. Once you're done with that, click on OK option. Now let's try to play out the video and see how it looks like. So as you could see, it will stay there for a few more seconds, or you can say it will stay there for as long as you want. Another thing is now right now, if you see that it's not really that smooth. Once it is zoomed in, it just automatically goes back to the full video. Now, if you're happy with the result, it's perfectly fine. Otherwise, if you want to smoothly zoom out of that zoom in effect, this is how you can do again, select few seconds of the video, make a cut go to that particular video, right click on that, click on crop and zoom, go to pan and zoom. This time you need to select your starting point as, or you can simply say this time you just need to reverse the previous effect. So this time your starting point should be the one at 1012 by 570. So go to ratio custom, put 1012 and here you can put 570. So this time we're just going to reverse the effect. Take that and put it over there. And ending part should be exactly your full video like this. So just stretch it all the way up and down. And once you're happy with this effect now, click on OK option. And now let's see how it looks like. Right. So let's play the full video in this particular effect so that you can see how zoom in and zoom out effect is looking like.
so this is how it's done so as i said it's simple but it's so effective and so cool especially in certain videos and videos like these beautiful mountains it's just icing on the cake so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and also you got what you were looking for if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing so that whenever these new videos are up which are every single week you do get notified about them on your phones laptops wherever you use youtube also if you did like this video do hit that like button with that i'm done with this video if you have any sort of content ideas for me like the things that you actually want to see do not hesitate to post them in the comment section below i will start making videos on that particular content ideas that you guys want with that i'm done with this video you guys have a great day stay safe wherever you are and I will see you guys in the next video.